Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today is a H&M spring haul. I've been making lots of little orders over the last month or so um, and I realised I had bought quite a lot of new things from H&M. So I've put it all together and I thought I would do a spring haul and show you some of my favourite new in pieces. So let's get straight into this and I'm going to start on... Which end shall I start? I'm going to start here. Okay, so first up is this green blazer. So online it was quite bright as well but I just thought, oh maybe it's more sage green and it's not. Um, it is a lovely shape and fit and it is a really nice colour but it's just not something that I am going to wear. It does actually pair really nicely with like denim shorts and a white tee for summer. It's definitely more kind of summery. I do like pops of colour in the summer but for right now for me I'm just not going to get my wear out of this and I don't want things in my wardrobe that I am not going to wear so I'm going to be sending that back. But in the same style I also picked it up in white and now I definitely will be keeping this because it's is it exactly the same style no it's not actually that's got two buttons and this has just got one very similar though it's a gorgeous white blazer I really really like the fabric it's it's like a twill you know what I mean I live in blazers all year round anyway but having one this color I think it just makes dressing really easy because you can just throw it over anything. Um, I've had it on here with um, some blue jeans and I really just love the crispness of a white top with jeans. So absolutely love that. I know I'm 100% going to get my wear out of it. We're actually heading to Rome next week, which I'm so excited for. So I'm definitely going to pack this because the weather isn't like super warm, but it's not cold. It's like I just I'm struggling to know what to pack. I think having things like this will cover my arm, but it's not too thick, so I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, moving on. I picked up these shorts, and I'm going to say I'm a bit disappointed with these. I had really high hopes for them. Next up is a pair of leather shorts. So these are real leather, and they are £150, so they were a lot of money. And when I bought them, I was thinking, if they fit perfectly... They'll be so nice because if you know kind of me and my style, I prefer shorts over skirts and dresses. And I thought if these are a nice fit, how versatile these could be um, to pair with like different tops and jackets and stuff. I thought these would be an amazing piece in my wardrobe. If there's something that's amazing quality and it fits me amazing and I know I'm going to get so much wear out of it, I don't mind spending that bit more. However, these have got a real sheen to them. Uh, and it just makes them look cheap, if I'm honest. I mean, they are very soft, but I thought that they were going to be more of a matte kind of material, but they've got quite a sheen to them. I, I'm still kind of in two minds, because as much as they're not exactly what I wanted, um, they are really nice still, so I'm not going to return them just yet, but I, I think I will. I think I'm verging on the return. But they did actually come up quite big. I'm wearing a size 10. I'd probably suggest sizing down. I'm usually a 10 in H&M trousers, but I'd go down a size. But yeah, these are just like, these would be the perfect piece in my wardrobe, but not 100% sure on like the fit and the material. Next up, I got something a little bit different for me. And it's, um, let me get this right. It's a silk blend knitted, like midi dress. This is actually so nice. How I've styled it here is um, I belted it just to cinch in the waist and give it a bit more shape. And as I said, we're going to Rome next week and I thought that this again would be a nice thing to take because actually this is quite thick so it'll keep you warm and I'm thinking about like popping a blazer over the shoulders. It's also got these really nice um, splits up the side and I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. It's something a little bit out of my comfort zone, just kind of the shape of it, like having your arms out. But actually, I really like it. I'm wearing a size medium and the only thing I would say was slightly, uh, kind of these bits were a little bit gapy under my arms, but I think if I got a size small, then it would cling to my tummy and that's what I hate about things like this is when they cling to areas. So I'd prefer to have kind of the underarms a bit bigger for it not to be so clingy around like this area, if that makes sense. So I really like that. It's a really gorgeous colour. It feels very premium and looks um, like really luxe. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Next up, we've got a matching set. That's all gone skew with on the hanger. And 
Um, when I ordered this, I was already thinking, I don't need any more sets. Like, I've got loads of things like this. But then when I tried it on, I absolutely love it. I spend so much time at home, and to be honest, most of the time at home, I'm wearing really, like, old tracksuit bottoms and mismatched socks. And honestly, you wouldn't want to see me when I'm just at home. So I thought that actually this could be a very nice like working from home set when I'm having admin days you still feel nice but still really comfortable so the top is a little cardi oh and also you can wear them separate what my fav my favorite piece were the trousers this I don't know the leg just very very slightly goes in and I just thought that that looked very chic fitted really nicely and, I, and it just made them look a bit more premium because it was a little bit something different to usual if that makes sense so yeah, really, really love this. One of those sets that um, you can wear kind of in and out. I'm wearing a size small in the cardi and small in the bottoms. Okay, next we have got another set. And I've never bought anything as quick as I bought this. You know me, I'm obsessed with H&M. So I probably check the new in section like daily or every other day. I don't obviously buy things every day, but I just add things to my saved list when I see nice things because I never want to miss the new stuff. And then when I saw this, I immediately bought it because I knew it was going to be one of those sellout pieces and it just looked so gorgeous. Um, but I actually have seen this in store, so if it's not available online, check your local store and hopefully it will be in there. So the trousers are a pair of like wide straight leg, um, stripey, just kind of like loose. They're not silk, I'd say like a satin, uh, like a, yeah, like a satin. It's definitely got a sheen to it. And then the shirt is obviously the same. And I love the colour that's with the black. It's like a very, kind of like a peachy kind of colour, I'm going to say. It's really nice. And I absolutely love this one. I wasn't sure if they were going to look like pyjamas. And I don't know if people are going to think they're pyjamas. But they're not. And I'm 100% keeping these. I love them so much. They look so nice worn together. But also separately as well. I love wearing shirts. And then these would look really nice with like a black t-shirt and a black blazer. With some like Birkenstocks. I think that would be a very nice way how you could wear the trousers on their own in spring. So, okay, next we have got like a Grecian goddess dress. Um, and this looked really nice on the website, but it didn't have a photo um, with it on the model. So all I saw was kind of this, and I thought, oh, that does look quite nice. And it is a nice dress. It is nice. It's got an open back. So a few things for me is obviously an open back means I can't really wear a bra. And then the way that this material, where it's kind of actually the arm, the way that this goes down, I just felt like it made me look very, like, saggy boob. Um, and it just, yeah, I think just for my body shape, it just wasn't working. When I was trying to, like, lift up my arm, this bit here is not very long. So then I just felt like it kept riding up. Beautiful fabric and the colour is lovely. I think for me it's just, it's just not right. It's too much faff for me. And um, you know I like my outfits easy. Okay, next up we've got a pair of white, um, kind of, yeah, like flared jeans. If you watch my recent spring wardrobe essentials, I featured a pair of white jeans. I'm a bit hesitant on keeping these. Only reason is because they haven't got like any stretch in them. It's a very rigid denim. And I just found like over my bum, like you couldn't really like sit down because the denim was so rigid. They haven't got any stretch in them. I want to be able to like, you know, move about, sit down and yeah, I'm just, I think I might try them on again. I really love the flared leg on these. So oh, it just kills me to send them back because they're absolutely everything that I wanted. And I had so many outfits in mind with these. I do like my denim with a bit of stretching, so I don't know. They're a maybe. Okay, so next up we have got the prettiest little jumpsuit. It's got a very, like, designery feel to it. It's very Chloe vibes, I think, with this kind of detail. That is definitely something that they would do. It's a very gorgeous colour. As you can see, it's just like a very kind of neutral nude. But right now, I just feel like I can't justify it in my wardrobe because I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear it. It's also got the prettiest pattern on the back. I figured something out and it's that when you buy something, if you're not going to wear it now, then you're probably not gonna wear it because if 
I was to keep this for a holiday next month or the month after, say, by the time that holiday comes around, there'll be other things that I like. There'll be newer things out that I'd rather than this. So I'm thinking that I'm not gonna um, waste my money on this for it just to sit in the wardrobe until I'm ready to wear it. But what if I'm not ready to wear it and I want something different? So that's I think my motto at the minute. If I'm not gonna wear it kind of in the near future, like in the next week or so, then yeah, I don't know. Does that make sense? As beautiful as this is, I just don't think I need it right now. Something I do need right now and something I'm gonna get so much wear from is a pair of black trousers. These are a pair of cropped linen blend high-waisted trousers. It's really hard to see because they're black, but they have got um, a crease going down the front. These fit me so nicely. I've actually I got these in the kind of whitey, creamy, beigey shade as well. They're 19 and I think having a pair of black trousers in your wardrobe, even if you're not going into the office, is a very kind of like chic staple to have. It works really well with just a plain t-shirt and some sandals. I think it's a very kind of, yeah, like chic piece to have. I love wearing trousers like this with Birkenstocks and how I've styled it here with the high neck polo and you can perhaps pop a blazer over or like cardigan or something as well. But I really, really like these. And then I've picked up the denim shirt that everyone is going mad for in H&M at the moment. When I last looked, it wasn't available online, but I found it in my local H&M. I'm wearing a size small and it's super oversized. I'm even thinking about going back and seeing if they had an extra small. It's a really nice alternative to a blazer or a coat. This is quite a thick and weighty denim. You could definitely wear it as like a jacket or over lots of different outfits. It's a really nice washed denim. I think the colour of it is spot on for blue denim. Even if you've got leggings and a white tee, throw this on with some Birkenstocks basket bag, good to go. It's going to be one of those kind of throw on pieces that I think is actually going to work really well with so many pieces. Speaking of denim, I picked up a pair of blue jeans. I'm so fussy with denim, I really am. And as I said, we're going away next week and I wanted to take some blue jeans. My Levi's are my favourite like cut and fit and look, I love them. But similar to the white ones, they don't have tons of give in them. I've got these from H&M in white. They do them in quite a lot of other colours. They've got some stretch to them, more stretch than these ones. They're quite like a like a medium weighted denim, I would say. These are actually a mom style high waist ankle length. I wear a size 10. As I said, they come in loads of other colours. I think these are just a very easy, nice fit of denim. My last item to show you is a white shirt. In the other side, it's more creamy. It's a very nice, like, thick shirt, and it feels a bit like brushed cotton, you know, very soft cotton. But it's got some gorgeous um, embroidery details, like here, on the arm, on the back here. This I really liked, paired with the blue jeans, as you have seen here. A white shirt is such an essential in your spring wardrobe, but if you want to kind of add a little bit of detail to that, if you find a white shirt is just kind of too plain for you, then opt for something like this. I think this is really, really pretty. And then I have picked up a few accessories, but first of all, let me show you these glasses. I really like the, oh my gosh, everything's just gone so orange. I just don't think these are gonna protect my eyes whatsoever. These are kind of just more like fashion glasses. I think I need sunglasses, not these. So as cool as these are, like, they are actually gonna be any good to actually wear, if you know what I mean? Like I don't see myself walking around with those on. No, I just don't think I'm pulling off that vibe. Put the glasses away, Laura. Okay, so I picked up this bag. I just love the shape. I find woven bags like this sometimes so big like absolutely huge, and this isn't that big. It's kind of just like a tote bag, but like a straw tote bag. Also, um, Prada do one, which looks almost identical to this, but just has like Prada written here. And I think for like how much this is and kind of the, the style, I feel like you can get the designer look for less. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. A couple of other accessories. I reckon H&M have taken some inspiration from Prada with their woven accessories because Prada also have a, a hat like this that says Prada on. I look like I'm just about to lead a safari. I look like I'm gonna lead a group on the safari. Oh my gosh, what the hell? I thought this was gonna be like really cool. I haven't actually tried, no. Group B, 
this way I'm going to be your tour guide for the day. What's going on? Why is it so tall? I'm not feeling that. I love it off. Like, it's so nice. But on me, that's not working. It's too tall, isn't it? That's the problem. This and the glasses are not really working out to the vibe that I thought that they would be. And lastly, I saw these, like, silk woven sandals. They're absolutely stunning. I had some last year similar to this from Zara that I just wore to death because they went with everything and they were just, like really easy to put on. Um, I really love like this chunky rope detail. However, I can barely get my foot in. Like here, I'm just going to show you, like I can just about get my hand in. So how do people get their feet in? There's just like not enough space under there to get your foot right in. Yeah, so sadly they're going back because I just can't really get my feet in those properly, but they're such a nice colour. Okay, so that brings us to the end of everything to show you today. As always, everything will be linked down below. If you don't already, I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week. Bye!